Hello, it's Cynthia Keel. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I did have someone ask me, so who are you? Introduce yourself to us. So I am Cynthia Keel, and I am um, kind of a native of Chicago. I was born in Detroit, raised between Chicago, Illinois, and Holly Springs, Mississippi. Shout out to Holly Springs, Mississippi. Um, raised in um, a family of the firstborn of six, and uh, a married mother, uh, Nana and auntie to a whole lot of people that really aren't related to me, but I absolutely love it. I do have nieces and nephews and cousins and all that. Um, so I have a large extended uh, crowd of people who support me, who love me. Uh, I am an administrator, business administrator by career. I am a non-denominational minister. I am, uh, I have a lot of things that I do. I, I'm a serial entrepreneur as well as uh, a bivocational minister. So I do work a nine to five. And uh, so I have, a, I have a, a huge life. I am a, a professional development coach. I am a business consultant uh, for nonprofits and for small individual businesses, a uh, business incubator that brings uh, people's visions and ideas to life. So I have a lot of things that I do. But CK Ministries LLC is another one of the things that I do. And so I try to encourage and empower and inspire people to live their best lives. And that's Cynthia. If you have any other questions, ask me. I'll answer to the best of my ability. But um, so we're talking about still unpacking, unpacking <laughs> Exodus and Transformation. <laughs> I'm 61. So hopefully they help you give me a little grace. <laughs> so um, we're unpacking Exodus and transformation. So I think it was our last session. We talked about not rushing things and why don't we rush things? So the scripture tells us that we should be anxious for nothing, but in everything, we should be in prayer and supplication to the Lord. We should be talking to God about it. Uh, so we don't want to feel hurried. We don't want to feel stressed. You don't want to feel pressure about things. So our transformation season, season may go a lot longer than we anticipate because it's painful. It's uncomfortable. It's, um, it's long and we don't want to suffer long. One of the fruits of the spirit. We don't, we don't want to suffer long. I get it. Nobody wants to suffer long, but sometimes the journey requires that we take our time because there are some things that we are supposed to get. Uh, so don't be anxious for anything because we want to make sure that everything that we say, everything that we do, everything that we experience is in the timing of God. I've been talking to people lately, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, that God does not waste anything. He's very resourceful. So, resourceful. so every experience that you have, everything that you're going through, every place that you've been is going to be for your good and for his glory. And you will be able to sit on the other side of the table, the desk, the camera, and share your story and your testimony with someone to help them know that this is what overcoming looks like and that they can come through because you've come through. So, of course, I have another story. <laughs> so, when I was in third grade, so back in the day, I told you I was 61 years old, I'll be 62 this year. Um, I was in third grade and I got all E's. So for those, E was for excellent. I got all excellent. I was a, a stellar student, right? So the administrators and the educators in the school wanted me to make a double what they used to call it back then. And I was skipping a grade. So I would not go to fourth grade, I'd go to fifth grade. So um, when they told my parents, uh, my mother was for it because it was great having a smart child, of course. My father said, I don't want her to make this double. And so I was like, but daddy, they want me to, but daddy, they want me to. He said, your birthday is always already in a time that puts you behind your other classmates if you make a double, you're going to be even younger than your other classmates. And I don't want you to be so young with all of those older people around you. And I didn't understand then, but I understand that there are some things that I needed socially, emotionally, academically, uh, psychologically in fourth grade that I may have missed had I made a double. 
So I just want to encourage you that while you're in your Exodus season, preparing for your transformation, take your time. Embrace every moment of the journey. See what it is that you get from this experience that you may not have gotten had you missed it. What have you learned? How much stronger are you? How much better are you? How transformed are you? Because you embrace the process of your transformation. I hope you enjoyed this session of Exodus and Transformation. We'll see you the next time.